Hello there and welcome to another medieval tutorial. Today's tutorial will be on a medieval gatehouse. The same one you've seen in my uh, castle uh, cinematic and the tour. It's, uh, it's a really simple gatehouse design, but first, before we get started on that, I want to go through some changes that I've made to these towers. As you can see, this one is like uh, maybe a quarter of the way not done yet. We'll go through some of the changes. Also, I made some changes on the wall, but I, I think I went through them in my castle tour, but I'll, I'll just do it real quick. Uh, before the uh, changes were made on the wall, it was like uh, that. It looked just like that. But uh, I only made a few changes, like took out this under uh, upside down stair and uh, put a, two blocks right there and change all these upside down slabs with upside down stairs and the reason I did that is because it looks uh, a bit better in regards to the crenellations like uh, we'll go over here to where I did the wall tutorial and as you can see the uh, upside down slab it makes it look <laughs> as, as though the crenellations are just kinda like just on there barely hanging on by like one brick it doesn't really look that strong but with the stairs it looks a bit more attached and uh, I also made a uh, Xbox 360 compatible wall I guess you could say that I've gotten messages about it but I'll, uh, I'll go through that last there's only a few changes to be made but uh, yeah so let's get started on some of the changes for the wall or the tower rather um, first off I think in the f tutorial, the uh, these corner supports, I guess we'll call them corner supports, they, I think they had like a uh, cobblestone wall and a slab on top of them or something like that. I just took those off and uh, kept it, I stopped it right at this, uh, this second stone brick block. There is the word I'm looking for. It, it, I don't know, it just looks a little less busy, you know, I think that's what I felt after I... Uh, did the tutorial it just felt a little busy like the entire tower felt a little busy so I changed a lot of things and uh, yeah, that's one of them I kept the uh, fences though it I feel it uh, helps it look like it's attached more to the tower and the uh, center supports now the center supports themselves are uh, also a bit different I know in the tutorial I think uh, the top top two blocks were upside down stairs I just moved that down so these uh these two are upside down stairs. So this this uh, column is still five blocks high, except uh, at the top is just two upside down stairs, and then a stone brick on top of those. And this is gonna be hidden anyway, and so it doesn't really matter what you put there. Um, now on top, the crenellations for this balcony area. I guess you call it a balcony. It's the exact same. No no real changes. The upside down stairs right there. Like so, and yeah. Except right over here, uh, under these, since I changed it on the wall, we uh, just put two upside down stairs like that, and then two on the sides like so. And then of course the uh, area right here is filled with slabs, just like so. Not not uh, not a big difference. I don't know if I had something over here. I think I might have something around this tree block. I just took all that off, so it's just like that for now. We'll come back around. Yeah, I also uh, changed this a bit, I think. I changed, I don't even know what the original tower looked like anymore. But uh, yeah, we're just gonna redo that. It's, uh, let's see, from, starting from this stone brick block, which should be the same on the tutorial. It's just an upside down stair right there with a uh, full stone brick block on top. Two upside down stairs on either side of it. Then two cobblestone walls on top of each other. With a stone brick stair on top of that. And then on top of that stone brick block. And then uh, fences on either side of it. Like so. And uh, I don't think that's changed. I think that was the same. This uh, cobblestone wall and slab on top. 
we'll go up here and this wall should be three blocks of cobblestone and the top two are two stone brick blocks I know this has changed for sure uh, on the second atop stone brick block is a uh, upside down cobblestone stair with a stone brick on top of it and then an upside down stone brick stair on the front of that with a stone brick on top of that and then upside down stairs on either side of it with uh, stone brick slabs on top of those and right here should be uh, a cobblestone wall and a stone brick underneath it like so and I think that's pretty much all the difference except for the roof so we'll do the roof right now and for that I need to grab this stair and that and that okay we'll put uh, three oak wood stairs on the front of the of these we'll make a row of it all the way around Okay, and then uh, oak wood planks right here on the corners above the cobblestone wall. Okay, and then slabs to uh, or uh, on either side of the of these plank block. There we go. I'm forgetting what these are called today. I don't know why. Okay, and we need a uh, plank block right in the middle. There we go, with uh, two stairs on either side of it. Okay, and we'll just fill in this middle part. Now we need two, or now we need uh, four planks all in front of that with uh, slabs, I believe, on the sides. Let me make sure. Yes, okay. Slabs all in the corners with uh, stairs on top of those and a plank block right there oh, I forgot a slab there we go and that's the roof yeah it looks a lot better than the other one uh, it looks a little bit more pointed I think in my opinion yeah okay and that's uh, pretty much was oh well first we need to come in here okay. there we go and change out these log blocks with a uh, stone brick block and I think in the uh, original design there was a uh, slabs all on top of here to cover up those I just took them off and put a uh, stone brick where the tree blocks were and I think it looks a bit uh, a bit better so, oh wow totally missed that spacebar sort of adds this little uh, stone brick bottom ish part Okay, now we'll move on to the gatehouse itself, and for that we need to take stone bricks, and we're going to raise these these uh, pillars up all the way to the top of this log block. Oh, whoa. There we go. Okay, once you get that done, we're going to add another pillar right on the inside of those, all the way up to so the, uh, the, about the same height. Okay, there we go. Now we need to take stone brick stairs and uh, right here, right, right where this stone brick is, I'm gonna add a upside down stone brick stair on the inside pillar, sorry. Like so, and then we add a uh, stone brick on top of that with a stone brick stair on the front. So we're basically making this, uh, this archway design now on top of that, we're just going to have uh, stone bricks all the way across, like so. Come back over here. Okay, so that's our basic archway design. On top of this wall, we're going to need to put oak wood uh, log blocks right here. So that's a second to top block I guess on the uh, columns here we go and we're just gonna make a, a beam all the way across
Okay, like so. Now, underneath these, we're going to put uh, an upside down stone brick stair. Uh, yeah, right, uh, like so. So it's, uh, it's facing away from this outer column of stone bricks. Same thing on these sides. Now we need two cobblestone stairs upside down, right, uh, well, next to those. There we go. And we need a, uh, I think it's a cobblestone slab. Let me double check this. We need, maybe, where is that? Here we go. We need a cobblestone wall. We're going to put them on top of the log blocks. Right there. And we need a slab in between these cobblestone stairs. And on top of them, we're going to put a, a full cobblestone block for the cobblestone stairs and a full stone brick block for the slab. Like so. And we'll need, well actually we'll need another stone brick on top of that. With two upside down stone brick stairs on either side of it. There we go. And now for the crenellations, we're going to need to put a stone brick right here, just every other block, and then a slab on every other of those blocks. And I think these are upside down, so there could be... You know what, that looks better. That looks better with regular stairs. So we'll do that, and I think this middle one should be a cobblestone wall. There we go. That looks much, much better. Okay. So let's do it this side. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. And we can also put buttons on these log blocks. Can't have a log block without buttons. Now for the inside, we're going to fill up all of this space with stone bricks. And then we need to grab oh not sandstone. Our stone smooth stone slab. We'll put it down right here. Okay. And we'll also cover those up. Actually can we just take those off? Yeah, I think that'll work. So we'll just take these off and put slabs right there. We also need two uh, stone brick slabs on top of these blocks on the corners. And that's pretty much it for the top of the gatehouse. For the inside, we need to get fences. Fences, fences. Here we go. And we're just going to go all around here and fill them in. This the corner blocks need to be four, uh, four fence posts long, I guess. One, two, three, four. Okay, and then everything else is just three. Three. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. Now this inside area is where it gets a bit complicated, so we need a regular stone brick stair in the middle with two upside down stone brick stairs on top of it, like so, and uh, on top of those it's just a full column of uh, stone bricks to the top. There we go, we also need stone bricks on the front of those, and slabs right on the top, and we also need a upside down stone bricks there. Racy just gonna recreate the uh, the archway, and uh, right here at the top, instead of just a slab, just replace that with the upside down stair. So you look like that, and it's pretty good. And we'll take off these grass blocks, or we're gonna put in our trap doors to uh, make it seem like it locks in place. You know. And just replace all the uh, the blocks around it with stone bricks so that it matches because you can see through the trap door and if there's dirt down there it just kind of breaks the the whole vibe that we're going for. Get a trap door. 
and let's put it like that. And we also need one right in the middle, right here. So we'll just replace the bottom with uh, stone slabs. And trap door. Ta-da! That's, uh, that's pretty much it for your gatehouse. And, uh, well, actually, these towers need some uh, oak wood. Let's fill these in real quick. I'm not going to go through every floor because it's. We've already done this, pretty much. Okay. Okay, yeah, that matches up nice. Okay. That's, uh, that's pretty much it. We also need to uh, go through. The changes you need to make for the Xbox 360 compatible wall and that should be right here the changes for this are uh, very minor I think uh, stairs are in the game so I, I never played the Xbox version so I don't know what you can and can't do I'm pretty sure it's just like upside down stairs and uh, Top slabs. You don't have. I don't know if you have, uh, you have uh, you cobblestone walls either, so I didn't put those in. But basically, um, the wall itself right here is all the same. You know, these uh, these are just regular stairs. These are bottom slabs, and there's no cobblestone wall underneath it, so you don't have to worry about that. And I need to change the uh, time. There we go. So, uh, yeah. Up here is where the big changes are. So instead of upside down stairs, all along here is just full uh, blocks. Same thing for this. It's just a full block. And instead of the cobblestone wall, above it is just a full cobblestone block once again. And on this either side, there was upside down stairs, but uh, you could just make them regular stairs. So you still have these little holes and stuff. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. And uh, on top of those are still the slabs, because they're bottom slabs. So I don't, I don't see why you wouldn't have that. Uh, well, actually, it's it's a full block. Never mind. It's a full block, and on top of the cobblestone is a bottom slab, and this middle piece. So it's a, uh, it should have that in the game. I don't see why you wouldn't. You know, it's a bottom slab. I think do you have slabs, in the Xbox version. I think. You should. I don't see why you wouldn't have a slab. Anyway, if, you, if if any of this isn't compatible, just let me know in the comments, and I'll uh, let you know what you could change if you want. Or you could just kind of do it yourself if you want. But uh, that, that's pretty much it for the changes for the wall, because everything else is a uh, fine. So yeah, I don't think it looks that bad compared to this one. Yeah, this looks a bit more detailed because you have upside down stairs, but I mean, it looks pretty similar. Same kind of design. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this tutorial, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Um, don't forget to leave a rating, a comment if you, if you enjoyed the video. Uh, just, you know, say, hey, I liked your video. That's pr I love comments like that. I, I love comments in general. They're awesome. You guys should leave more comments. Just have like a, a comment fight or something. I don't know. More comments, the better. Same thing with likes. The more, the more likes, the better. But uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it for this gatehouse. So uh, I'll see you guys in the next uh, tutorial episode. And uh, thanks for watching. We need to put um, log blocks on the front of those, like so. I totally think I'm doing this wrong. For this inside area, we need. Uh. Crap, I forgot. Yeah, I mean, it's it's good if you're in the Xbox and you want something that's a, this kind of design. Freaking bats are pissing me off. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! I need lava. I'm just gonna burn you guys. After this is over, I'm going to burn you. And it's going to be horrible.